Configuring the Starteam server for the MPX message broker. This video will outline the changes you need to make to your Starteam server's configuration in order to start utilizing the Starteam MPX message broker. The video will also outline a failed and successful configuration and outline troubleshooting techniques for resolving issues. To begin, open the Starteam server administration console. If the server is running, click the configuration name, then click Stop. Click Yes. The server will then stop. Once the server has stopped successfully, click Start, then Run. Enter services.msc, then click OK. Scroll through the services list until you find the Starteam Message Broker 6.8 service. Start this service. Now browse to your Borland product directory, Starting Server, Event Services, then the folder with the name StarDraw or your configuration name. This will be equal to the configuration name here. Open MPX Event Transmitter.xml and click Edit. The area you wish to edit is Server Names. This will be the IP address or host name of the server on which the MPX message broker is installed. This refers to the port on which the Starteam MPX message broker is running. The default is port 5101. In this example, the pre-populated field is adequate. Make the required changes, save the file, then start the server. Once the server is running, click Server Log. You may be asked to log in at this point. Scroll through your log until you reach the Starteam MPX section. Note in this example, message from RT server, connection established. This indicates a successful connection to the Starteam MPX message broker and signifies that your configuration is correct. I will now outline an example where the configuration is incorrect and requires changes. Some changes have been made and the server has been restarted. We will now view the server log. Note that in this case, the server could not connect to the Starteam MPX message broker. In this particular instance, the reason is that the MPX service is not currently running. The same message will result if the MPX message broker is inaccessible due to an incorrect IP address, for example. To troubleshoot this error, firstly ensure that the Starteam MPX message broker is up and running before the Starteam server attempts to start. The Starteam MPX message broker must start up first. Also, review your event transmitter XML file and ensure that the IP address specified is correct and can be reached from the Starteam server machine. If this error is received after having created a new configuration, you may need to edit an additional XML file. In the root event services directory, there is an MPX event transmitter template. Begin editing this file and look for the server names entry as you did for the previous configuration. This entry will need to be edited in order to ensure that any newly created configurations will inherit the correct Starteam MPX message broker connection settings. This concludes the presentation on configuring the Starteam server for MPX. Future topics will include configuring clients, configuring cache agents, and advanced troubleshooting.